I was going to show you and we're going to make some uh, cranberry wine, cranberry juice wine. I uh, got some stuff in so I can start doing my mead, which will be in my next video. I got that. Right along with a uh, bubbler, which you know you fill up with grain alcohol or your sterilization. There's lots of them out there. I have one step sterilization and so all my stuff I ster sterilize. I also have some, a new uh, hydrometer. But here's what's cool. So, and this video is a little different because I've been using Fleshman's yeast. And I bought some packages of D47. This is wine yeast. So we're going to taste the difference and see just how different, you know, within a month, what my Fleshman yeast and what my wine yeast, to see if this produces more alcohol or not. Uh, this is another just simple episode, but all my stuff I've used has been sanitized. There's my one step water. And I'll show you how it's done. So you know the recipe, if you've been following my channel, this is the cranberry juice. You always want to get 100% juice. And this is my daughter Charlotte. Hi. Wave Charlotte. Say hi everybody. Hi boy. <laughs> and uh, so this is two, two quarts. So I'm going to pour off. How much? Two cups. Make a quart and a half. So then you, for every quart it's one cup of sugar, right? With this being cranberry juice, I'm going to do a little different instead of a cut, since this is a quart and a half, instead of doing a cup and a half of sugar, I did two cups just for, that means cranberry juice, kind of tart, so I'm trying to get, see if I can make it sweeter, you know. Uh, bottles sterilized inside because it was never open, so I'm going to set that aside. I poured two cups off, as you can see. And with those two cups, I'm going to start my, not start it, but I'm going to hydrate my yeast. So I'm going to pour some cranberry juice in there. And I'm going to take my D47. Oh, this should turn out really good. I got high expectations for this. Good old cranberry wine. Be a good uh, holiday wine, wouldn't it? around Thanksgiving or Christmas. So the recipe, like I said, always calls for a quarter tablespoon of yeast and usually an eighth. So you can use this whole package if you want to, just be a waste. And uh, so correction on that, I meant to say teaspoon, a quarter teaspoon, and then an eighth of a teaspoon. But, and you can use this whole package if you want to, like I said, It'd just be a waste because uh, you don't need that, that much. But as you can tell, this is my cranberry juice. I'm dumping my yeast in just to kind of hydrate it. And I do always add like another eighth, just a little bit more to it. There we go. And now what I do with this, just fold it back up and put it in the refrigerator. And it's still good. And then I have my daughter over here licking my hydrometer. <laughs> So we got that hydrating. So now all we need to do is take your funnel that's been sterile, right along with my hands have been sterile, put it right there. And let's go ahead and take our two cups of sugar. Well, a little under two cups, but almost there. Like I say, the recipe is usually a cup and a half, but I'm adding more sugar just to make it sweeter. Try this stuff. Daddy, what's that? That's sugar. That's sugar, Daddy, honey. Sure Hard to do videos when you got little kids at home, ain't it? I just want to thank you guys, you know, for following me and subscribing to my channel. You guys are awesome. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because I'm going to make some meat, beer, all kinds of stuff. And I want you to follow me so you can always hit that bell too so you know when my new videos come out. Really appreciate y'all. I'm not gonna take a reading on this one. I will on my on my mead. I'm not worried about the reading on this. I know it'll probably
probably come out about anywhere from 12% to 18%, I'm sure. Uh, being that it's a different type of use, it's the D47, probably gonna come out maybe a little higher than that. It might be, you know, 19, 20, I don't know. But, uh, I'm trying to decide if I should use my bubbler on this one, but I think I'm gonna save it for my, for my, uh, my honey wine, my mead. So I'm gonna save it for that. And I, that video will be coming in a few days. I gotta buy some honey. It's like three pounds for the recipe of honey. So what we're gonna do is use our lid like we always do. But right now I'm gonna shake this sugar up to get it all fully dissolved. And also what it's doing is providing oxygen in it. This is the one and only time that you'll shake this bottle. Once it's all done, you got the yeast in, you crack the, you crack the lid. And then that little, just let the, all the gases release. As long as it ain't on their tire, it'll blow up. But I'll show you how to do that. This should make really, really good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and add my yeast now. Uh, I'm not done shaking it up, but there ain't no sense you guys watching a whole bunch of shaking. So my yeast has been Uh, see, I've just been uh, hydrating it. It's not really starting or anything, but this is a good way to see because if your yeast is going to be live or not, because it'll, it'll bubble a little bit. You can see it's already eating the sugar. Pretty cool. But let's go ahead and add that and right back in the bottle with the yeast. Alright, sit that aside. So what I could do though, which is pretty cool with that bubbler, you could take your sanitized water and fill your bubbler up with that. Sorry, I'm a dipper. But yeah, I used the one step. I can't wait to make that meat. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna taste good show you how that's done but yeah we'll just keep on shaking it and then once you're done shaking it you just loosen that lid a little bit I've got a whole bunch you guys seen already made so my closet you can smell the gas releasing but what you want you see how that lid moves that's gonna release the gas it's not gonna blow up so it's pretty cool but I do appreciate you guys watching uh, just easy ways to make wine you know and I'm gonna show you traditional ways to make wine. I'll show you how to make mead, which was the, you know, mead's one of the, the, the is the OG of the of any kind of alcohol. It's the first thing ever really made. Uh, quick store is pretty cool in history. Uh, they used to not have just packaged yeast, so yeast is naturally in the air and on stuff and in, even in products. So when they would make a batch of mead, they passed down spoons. Uh, from generation to generation and that spoon would already have yeast on it so they, they thought the spoon was magical so they stir that pot with that you know ever so often with it open not understanding that it was just the yeast in the you know air and also it was on the spoon but they would pass that down generation to generation they thought it was magic but anyways that's all I have today I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please follow me uh, and subscribe I really appreciate it like I said, I got some fun videos. I got some new stuff in, a hydrometer. And so I think you guys will enjoy. Uh, let your friends know about me. I appreciate y'all. And God bless. Hell no.